Uh, we'll move to Sunday. And 12 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, the Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals are a two-and-a-half point favorite, total of 44-and-a-half on this one, which, by the way, that is one, two, three, four straight games where the total is 44-and-a-half. I mean, just absurd. So uh, the road team in this matchup is 5-1 and one against the spread in their last six. The Bengals, of course, whipped the Ravens earlier this season. Uh, Ravens are 6-1 and one against the spread following a straight-up loss. Of course, they got beat by the Packers last week. They are 5-1 and one against the spread as a road dog in their last six. They are 5-1 and one against the spread against winning teams. And, even better, just to toss it on top, 10-3 and three against the number against AFC North teams. Now, the Bengals on the other side... Two and five against the spread following a spread win. Of course, they got the win against the Broncos last Sunday. Two and five against the spread as a home favorite, and they are one and five against the spread in their last six games at home. They don't play well in Cincinnati for whatever reason. We have seen that home field advantage doesn't really exist, right? The at most it's maybe a quarter of a point. Like it just has not meant a whole lot this year. And I think that the Ravens, uh, coming off of that loss against the Packers, they understand how big this game actually is. And you look at the head-to-head, number 15 in total DVOA for the Bengals, uh, excuse me, for the Ravens, number 19 for the Bengals. Cincinnati's offense is number 20. Their defense is number 11 in efficiency. Baltimore's defense is number 27. The Baltimore offense is number 16. I, Joe Burrow is really good, and Jamar Chase is really good. But that is not Aaron Rodgers that they are playing in Cincinnati this looks like a revenge spot for me. Chris and I are going to go separate on this one as well. He's taking the Bengals to cover the two and a half. I'm going to take the Ravens plus two and a half. I think the Ravens can win this game outright, whether Lamar Jackson plays or not. I think the matchup is there for them. They know this team. And like I said, they're 10 and three against the spread against the AFC North teams in the last 13. And the road team in this specific game, this specific matchup, the road team is five and one against the number in the last six. So I will take the Ravens plus two and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.